Don't you guys fucking hate politicians? If you'd answered no, then you're most likely an ignorant idiot. Hate to break it to you, but those guys fucking blow. This video is going to be mostly about my views on politics, politicians, and the two-party system in this country, and how it's totally fucked up. And I'm going to give examples of how I don't like either side. For most of you who don't know, I am an independent. I'm not a partisan. I really can't stand the two-party systems, and I have serious criticisms on both sides. So, let's talk about how business operates in Washington or anywhere else in this country. Politicians are essentially bribed through campaign contributions, and once they get into office, all they ever do is focus on the next election. Rarely ever would you find a politician who actually cares about the people and work towards the greater good. It's always about getting re-elected. It's always about partisan politics. It's always about power and money. It's never really about the little guys or the common people. First of all, let's take a look at the Democrats. They push for a system of government that pretty much nurtures laziness. Now, are they willingly doing it? That's up to debate. But whatever the hell they do end up doing, it usually, you know, caters to lazy people. For example, on their whole welfare reform, they are taking away the requirements that requires, like, people to actually go out and get a damn job. They're just handing out unemployment, and people don't really actually have to do anything. My boss once said that there's a whole lot of folks out there, mostly Democrats, or people who would vote Democrat. These folks, a lot of them are unemployed or underemployed. They just tell each other and encourage each other to just go out and get welfare. But why not get a job instead? Why does it have to be go get your welfare? Well, it's because Democrats are just handing it out. Also with Democrats, the overall spending of money yeah, I understand the government needs to function and do its shit, do its business, pay its contracts, and all that kind of jazz. But, holy shit, they're going way overboard on the amount of spending. Sooner or later, they're going to have to realize that throwing money at problems don't solve anything. You're just going to create a whole lot of debt and more problems down the, down the road. And maybe solving a problem that you started with. But what good does that do if you create three problems for every one you solve? Now with the Republicans, these guys are fucking like way out there on their shit. Like, for example, climate change. There is an overwhelming scientific consensus that global warming is real and is dramatically being increased or influenced by human activity. For the very few who dissent from that consensus, most of them are commissioned through universities or other um, corporations to create doubt that global warming is real, to question whether global warming is real because, well, if these corporations are creating doubt, they get to keep their old business models and industries alive and thriving. It's all about money at the end. And another thing with Republicans, they're all in it for the money, as usual. It's about the campaign contributions. Oil contributes to their, to their shit. And there's also an ideological thing about the whole global warming shit. If, let's say, a conservative Republican was to acknowledge global warming is real. They would essentially acknowledge that 
something needs to be done about it. And if something needs to be done about it, the only thing that's really capable of doing something about it is the government. And government action is completely, you know, against what they believe in, which is less government. So in order to like, avoid dealing with the problem at all, they just deny it's a problem. It's a whole ideological issue. It's not about, you know, doing what's right. They just deny it so that they can continue business as usual with their con campaign contributions and, you know, getting reelected. And for all those who continue to believe in all that doubt, you're fucking idiots. Sorry to say this, but open your eyes. There's a lot of shit out there that you're not seeing. Oh yeah, back with some shit with Democrats. Um, they're always supporting unions. And overall consensus in economics is that monopolies are bad. But the problem is unions are monopolies. They monopolize the labor market. So it's just from the other side of, you know, the monopoly. It's a monopoly on labor as opposed to goods or services that are produced. It's just on the other end. It's still going to increase prices for consumers. You can argue, yes, that unions help people with negotiations and all that shit, representation of rights, but unions are also very corrupt, and Democrats just side with them all the goddamn time. And it pisses me off. Another thing with Republicans, they are bought by the religious right. They claim that this is a Christian nation just because a majority of the country were Christians and the Founding Fathers had Christian-leaning beliefs. Really? Seriously now? This is a free country. doesn't matter if the majority are Christian or not. This is a free country. And Republicans want to limit liberty based on their bullshit? Fuck that. They are bought by the religious right. For me, liberty is doing whatever you want, so long as nobody else gets hurt. So, if I want to, I don't know, do something that you're opposed to, seriously opposed to, it's not going to hurt you. It's not gonna burn down your house. I'm not gonna punch you in the face. Why can't I do it? Republicans, that's their position on the social issues. They don't want people doing or setting up, you know, anything that is opposed to their moral positions. But morality, that's a relative term. Everybody has different morals. You can't make policy on morals. Democrats do this do shit too, when it comes to economics. Oh, you can't sell that freaking thing unless you label it has 22,000 calories. Okay, seriously? If I have the information, it's not like it's going to stop me from eating it, if it tastes really awesome. And now you're going to ban shit over trans fats? Fuck off! If I want to eat trans fats, and if I know it's there, then I have the right to eat that shit. Fuck off. Well, that's enough ranting for one day. Politics gets everybody fired up. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, have a nice day, folks. Till next time. Hello there, friends. On this episode of P-Trans How To's, I'm gonna teach you guys how to masturbate like a pro. I'm sure by now you've heard that this is an a really big week at the Supreme Court with rulings all over the place.